Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to Yoga with Sophie. Today we are doing a full body yoga stretch. This one is suitable for all levels, so take modifications as needed. And remember, it also depends on the time of day you're doing it. So if you're doing it in the morning, you may not be feeling quite as warm and open, so just keep it nice and gentle. Let's enjoy moving our bodies. As you can see, I am outside, so I apologize for the sound of any traffic or the birds, but let's enjoy being in nature as well. All right, let's start with some nice and gentle neck rolls. Just tilting the head to the right, circling around, tilting to the left, nice and gentle back through center. Focusing on the breath. Let's take it one more each side. And back the other way. Now make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, grounding the sit bones into the mat. Hands just resting here on the knees, belly in, broadening across the collarbones and pressing up through the crown of the head. Let's take a, just a gentle twist to the right. So left hand to the right knee, just looking over the back shoulder. Nice and gentle. Coming through the center. Inhale, exhale to twist. Eye gaze just over the back shoulder. And back to center. Let's come to our tabletop. So hands shoulder width apart, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's inhale to start. Exhale, draw the belly in, arch the back. Feel that stretch through the back of the body, stretching the spine. And the other way. Exhale, clump to cow. Lifting the heart. Let's go the other way. Arching like the Sydney Harbour Bridge, pushing the mat away. And then come to cow. Exhale. Two more just like that. Arching high. And dropping through. Last one. And back. Beautiful. Let's come to a side stretch. So pressing the right hand into the mat, come to the side. We want the left foot flat on the ground. Reach the arm nice and high, inhale. Hold here, long stretch right from the top fingertips to your back heel. Exhale, one more inhale. Find as much length as you can. And exhale, circle the arm back and down. Other side, pressing the left hand into the mat. Come up on the knee, foot presses down. Inhale, lift the arm. Exhale here. One more inhale, find as much length as you can through the whole side of the body. And exhale, coming back down. We're now gonna take extended puppy. So with this one, it's kind of like child's pose. We reach the arms nice and long, forehead comes to the mat. And keep the butt nice and high so the sit bones are t pressing to the wall behind you. Chest comes through. You want to feel a nice stretch through the shoulders, opening the chest and into the back as well. If this is a little much too much to you, you're welcome to come down to child's pose and just come back to the heels. Still for that beautiful stretch through the back of the body. Hold here. Breathe. And then coming out of it, let's press up to downward facing dog. So again, hands shoulder width, tuck the toes, knees lift off, press the butt up nice and high and feeling that stretch through the back of the legs, through the back of the body, bend the knees a little because the most important thing is that we keep the spine nice and long here. Keep the belly drawing in and let's pedal through the feet. Nice and gentle. Warming through the feet, through the backs of the legs. Keep the front ribs drawing in. We don't want to splay out like this. Keep them drawing in. 
Eye gaze somewhere between the feet and the knees. And then pressing the heels down towards the earth. Let's lift the back leg nice and high. Foot is flexed. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the leg through. And let's come to our runner's lunge. So back knee comes down. Pelvis in neutral alignment here. Feeling a beautiful stretch through the front of the hip. You can stay right here or if you're ready to take that a little deeper. Hand comes down. Let's heel toe the foot out a little wider. And you're either here or you can come for an open adductor stretch. So just dropping forward on the four, forearms here. Keep the chest nice and lifted. Breathe into it. Encouraging the muscles to relax. Maybe just taking a gentle rock side to side if that feels good. Pressing up on the hands. Let's come back to our downward facing dog. Hips nice and high behind you. Lifting the front leg, flex the foot, inhale. And exhale, draw the leg through. Plant the foot down, knee comes down, runner's lunge. Feeling that beautiful stretch through the front of the hip. Still sitting up nice and tall, reaching through the crown of the head. And again, we can take it a little deeper for an open adductor stretch. So heel toe the foot out a bit a little wider. Hands can drop down here. And if you're ready, coming down to the forearms. Nice and open through the hips. So you might feel this one through the adductor here, but also still through the hip flexors. Gentle rock side to side if that feels good. And back to our downward facing dog. Stretching right through the arms, pushing the floor away, stretching through the back of the body. And let's walk the feet to the hands for ragdoll. So feet are hip width apart. Either hands just reaching long, keeping that belly drawn in, knees nice and bent. Or you can take the back of the elbows and come to your ragdoll here. Gentle rock side to side if it feels good. Shaking the head, making sure the neck is relaxed. Let's take a halfway lift. Hands to shins, halfway lift. Belly in, spine nice and long here. And then we're going to come to Padangushtasana. So this is forward bend, big toe hold. So you can either keep your hands on the shins if that's enough for you, or peace fingers come to the big toes. Inhale, and then as you exhale, draw the chest towards the thighs. So this is, a, this is an in, quite an intense stretch for the hamstrings. We're using the arms to pull us further down towards the earth and towards the, and towards the thighs. <laughs> Holding here. Breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bend the knees, draw the belly in, let's roll up through the spine. <sighs> Standing up nice and tall, readjust as you need. <laughs> All right. We're going to test the balance and take a few standing uh, stretches. So let's start by grounding strongly through all four corners of the right foot. So the inside and outside of the big toe and little toe, and then inside and outside of the heel. We're going to lift the left leg, draw the knee in towards the chest, hug it in here. And I want you to find a spot, so really set your gaze, what we call your drishti. And once you've found that, you can either stay right here or you can take hold of the big toes with the peace fingers. And we're going to take your other hand to the waist, to the hip, and stretch the leg out in front of you. 
really ground down through the supporting foot. You can bend the knee of the supporting leg if you need. Really set your gaze, which will help set your mind. If you wobble, that's okay, or fall out of it. It's all about just taking a breath and coming back into it. All right, knee comes back in, hug it in. Let's take the knee wide. Take the right arm out to the side. And we're going to either stay right here, so just holding onto the knee, or once again, peace fingers to the big toes, set your gaze, and let's take the leg out to the side. Breathe. Remember, ground down through that supporting foot. Draw the belly in. Lift up through the crown of the head. Bring the leg in and let's lower it down. Ooh, take a moment. Let's take one full breath just to recenter. Inhale and exhale. Other side. All right. Grounding down through the left foot. So outside the big toe, outside the little toe, the inner and outer heel. And let's lift the right leg. Knee comes to chest. Remember to set your gaze, which will help set your mind. Make your mind strong and resolute. Then stay there or remember, hand to hip, peace fingers to the big toes, stretching the leg long in front of you. Remember to breathe. Bend that supporting knee if you need. Let's draw the leg back in and take it out to the side. So taking the left arm out wide for help you, to help you balance. Either stay here holding the knee or peace fingers to the big toes. Let's stretch the leg long. Hold here. Set your gaze. Ground down through that supporting leg. Press up through the crown of the head. Draw the leg back in, nice and slow. You've got this and come down. Beautiful. While we're here, let's just take a quadricep stretch. So let's take the arm out wide for our balance. Draw the left foot up behind you. Take the ankle if you can and draw the heel towards the butt. You wanna keep the pelvis in neutral alignment here. So rather than sinking back like this, Keep the pelvis up here by drawing the belly in. And the other side. Foot comes down, arm comes wide, leg comes up behind you. <sighs> Breathe into it. Keep that pelvis in neutral alignment. Draw the belly in. And come down. All right, coming back down to the mat. So either a sumo squat here, so toes are slightly turned out, knees come over second toes, and either forearms to thighs, or if you've got a little more range through the adductor muscles, we'll come to malasana. So heels come uh, in a little more, press the back of the arms into the knees, chest lifts here, feeling that beautiful stretch through the adductor muscles and into the hips. And we're going to take a side bend while we're here. So you stretch the arms out wide, pressing the back of the arm into the knee. You can hold here, or if you have the range through the shoulders, you can take the bind. So for the bind, the arm wraps behind the leg, behind the back, and we take the fingers. Shoulders rolling back and down. Keep the heart lifted. Let's take the other side. Arms come wide, pressing into this leg. Stay right here. Or if you have the bind in your practice, wrap the arms behind you, take the fingers or the wrist, and then roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. Last one here, let's reach the arms forward.
I've probably taken myself off the screen. So sorry about that if I have. Just reach the arms forward. And coming out of it. Let's come to 90-90 or uh, half pigeon. So 90-90 feet of flex, sitting up nice and tall here. Or if you're coming to half pigeon, you can draw this heel in towards the groin, roll the top hip over, sit up nice and tall, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Breathing into it. Beautiful posture, beautiful movement and stretch for the hips. And coming out of it. Rolling around to the other side, setting up 90-90 or half pigeon. Heel comes to groin, roll this top hip over. We sit up nice and tall and fold forward. Taking a moment here, just grounding down, bringing the gaze inward. How are you feeling in this moment? Is your body starting to warm and open, lengthen? And come out of it. Let's come to Paschimottanasana. So, <coughs> a seated forward bend. Feet are flexed out in front of us. Sit up nice and high on the sit bones, lifting the arms high. Let's inhale here. And as you exhale, reaching the torso out away from the pelvis and come forward. If you can't have the leg straight, if that's too much for the hamstrings, bend the knees. But what we want is to really bring the chest close to the thighs, just as we do in a standing forward bend. Because this protects the lower back and we want to feel the stretch into the belly of the hamstring muscle. So wherever you are is absolutely perfect for your body. It's all about the intention that you bring to it and be patient and take and just consistent and you'll get the results as you as you go along. So holding here, if you've got the range, you can take the fingertips and reach forward. But just remember to come to only 80% of your range. All right, and coming out of it. Let's come to a reverse tabletop. So pressing the feet into the earth, about hip width apart. Hands come just close to your butt, so under your shoulders. Inhale here, let's press down into the feet, lift the butt nice and high. And really feel that stretch through the shoulders, opening through the chest. If it's better for your neck, you can keep your eye gaze directly in front of you. Otherwise, up to the sky. Let's take two full breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Ch keep lifting that chest, lift through the hips. Inhale. And exhale. Neck, lower the head down, rolling down through the spine. And let's come to happy baby. All right, lying down in your back, either hands to the lower legs, the insides or outsides of the feet, and just draw the knees down towards the armpits and take a gentle rock side to side. Feeling good, finding more length, more openness in the body. Breathing, enjoying what your body can do. And now either coming to Sapta Baddha Konasana, which is extended butterfly, so soles of the feet together, knees wide, arms overhead, and you can take the back of the arms here, or coming to Shavasana, which is legs long, feet about hip width apart, rolling outwards and arms by your side. So wherever feels most comfortable for you, I'll take Sapta Baddha Konasana today. And let's just take a few full breaths here. You're welcome to close the eyes. 
and just release all the effort and take a moment for yourself. Just taking deep, full belly breaths, expanding the rib cage, letting the belly lift. And then as you exhale, the belly lowers down and the ribs draw back in. Just a couple more breaths, just like that. And come and just sit on your mat. Come into easy sitting pose. Feeling the earth support you. Feeling the hands resting on the thighs. Broadening across the collarbones. And pressing up through the crown of the head. and open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed this full body flow, full body stretch. Here are a couple more flows I think you might like. I would love if you would subscribe to the Yoga with Sophie channel and leave me a comment and let me know of other flows you might like created for you. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Namaste.